Hey everybody, so my name is Francisco Martinez and this is my reflection video for uh, project management and assessment three. Three. So um, I had this is my ninth month with full sail in the mobile development um, program and I gotta say I am I'm learning a lot and I'm experiencing a lot which is something that I really wanted to make sure that I did. So as far as what I'm learning with, as, with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, um, I'm learning a lot. It's, it's my first time actually using things like that. So being able to actually jump in and make sure that everything works well is it's good. Um, I've always wanted to learn how to use JavaScript especially. It is very, very tough. And if you're watching this and you haven't learned how to, how to use JavaScript, I'm letting you know right now it's tough. But um, don't fret because it, if you get it, then you'll get it. And it's actually the best feeling in the world when you get it. So um, here are my examples of uh, my past work as far as using JavaScripts and HTMLs. I only use a simple, very quick example. Okay, so here's my examples of my past projects that I've done as far as JavaScript and um, all the other um, languages go. Um, this was from Scalable Data Indus Infrastructure. Um, actually, I had to take this class twice because it was tough. And I'm actually glad I took it a second time because I actually did learn a little bit more about it. Um, and this example is actually talking about the launch of the latest game consoles that are coming out. So I decided to put that in. Um, my last project was actually about um, a paintball team and how they're set up. But it didn't work out very well. So, yeah. Um, this one actually did work out better than I thought. Um, but with this, this was project three. With that, we also had to do the... Um, flow charts, which I felt was really the hardest part of the class because it's one thing to actually like set up the JavaScript. It's a little harder to actually explain it for some reason. Um, so either way, it, it, as tough it, as it was, it's still, it was still pretty useful. Um, and this was, this was probably the hardest part about it. Um, then recently we started learning uh, more about HTML with, um, I believe it was the last class, which was, uh, I'm going to let you know right now, Visual Frameworks. There we go. Um, so with Visual Frameworks, we learned how to do not just JavaScript, but also we delve deeper into HTMLs, which was this, and CSS, which is this. And I got to say, the HTML and CSS, I've said this before, these are not, they're definitely not the hardest part of the classes, of coding or anything like that. This is pretty much the skeleton and the makeup of your program and stuff like that. So it it, it works really well um, when I last tried it and I'm still actually kind of working on it as far as the JavaScript, which is this. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to fix it. It works fine, don't get me wrong, but um, it seems like the when I type in the form, it just doesn't want to clear, which is weird. But it, it still works fine. Um, as far as the JavaScript goes, like um, everything is practically self-explanatory, as I said. Um, it's, it's just a matter of making sure you know exactly what you're putting in. Um, the class, the classes can be tough when it comes to the JavaScript, but, um, in long run, once you learn something, once you learn how to really get into it, it's not as bad as you think it is. As far as web-based mobile applications, um, I feel like they really are important to learn. Uh, and what I learn about them is that, um, no matter what you actually use or what, whatever you actually develop, it's always good to make sure that they work both with um, not only the mobile device itself, but also on your computers and laptops and stuff like that. Um, they're very, they're not very easy to make, but they're very fun to make. And when you actually get it done, it's a great feeling. I would say when it comes to examples of a great 
web app, web mobile app, it would have to be like things that you would use in video games. Um, a perfect example would be like say if you're playing Call of Duty, they have Call of Duty Elite, and Call of Duty Elite actually tracks your like tracks your different stacks, um, lets you change your classes, you can see videos and stuff like that, and um, you pretty much have to sign up using a form and stuff. So that's a perfect example of uh, a web app that you can see both um, on a laptop and on a mobile device. They're both practically the same. There is a mobile app, like a dedicated mobile app that is only used for the actual device um, for both Android and Apple. Um, and it is different and it works a little different, but it's just a the mentality of it is still the same. You're still tracking your stats, you're still checking out your classes, and you're still checking out videos. Um, so that's like a perfect example to me. Um, other than that, I gotta say, I'm really excited for this course more than I was in the beginning, and I'm glad I'm learning a lot about it. Um, so until next time, uh, be safe and be well.